Not all dogs possess the same characteristics. While there are those who are adorable, diminutive, and can be easily carried in a handbag, adored by famous women during premieres and social gatherings, it's important to note that not all dogs fall into this category. In fact, there are some breeds that are enormous in size, such as Clifford, who stands out as a prime example. Let's explore some of the largest dog breeds in the world. Number 7. The Scottish Deerhound The Scottish Deerhound, like the Great Dane, the Scottish Deerhound was also bred to hunt, but in this case, Scottish Roe Deer, which could be twice as big as the dogs themselves. The Scottish Deerhound is also known as the Royal Dog of Scotland, and they do have a touch of the regal about them. Kind of scruffy old looking likes hunting developed from a limited gene pool anyways, I digress. The reason that this breed has this royal namesake is because these animals were only available to the aristocracy. Only people with a title of Earl or something grander than that were allowed to own a deerhound. It was through this weird rule that the Scottish deerhound became a kind of currency amongst the uber wealthy, and it's said that a nobleman who had been condemned to death could actually purchase his life back and avoid the gallows by offering a gift of a deerhound. So there you go the historic breed was even used as a rich man's bartering tool. These guys have been finding ways to exploit that two-tier justice system even to way back in the day. Number 6. The Great Dane. The Great Dane is a humongous creature with a friendly nature. They're elegant, sleek dogs with muscular and athletic bodies that are built to run. Their massive size although part of their appeal also makes owning one of these special dogs pretty tricky. You're gonna need a lot of space both indoors and out, and they need loads of room to exercise, and when they're inside their waggy tail is just an accident waiting to happen. Some owners even have a dedicated Dane room for their huge hounds to hang out in. The noble Great Dane was bred to run with horses while hunting huge wild boar, so they needed to be very large and strong as well as pretty aggressive in order to tackle the boar to the ground. These days though, they're a lot less about the aggression however, they are still colossal. People who choose these dogs as pets can expect them to reach extraordinary heights. Oddly enough though, there's actually no known connection between Denmark and this German breed of dog. So, where the name is from is still a little bit of mystery. In Germany, they're known as the German dog, the name Great Dane, that's an English translation of a French name for the breed Grandino, which means Big Danish. No, it's probably got nothing to do with the pastry either. Number 5. The Neapolitan Mastiff The Neapolitan Mastiff is a massive, powerful guard dog, and they've been keeping a watchful eye since ancient Roman times. Absolutely unique looking, the Mastiff is wrinkly and heavily furrowed beast and for its loyalty to its owners and suspicion of strangers, it's well valued. No wonder these guys are some of the best watchdogs in the world. Well endowed in the head department, the Mastiff does look intimidating, carrying huge power and muscles in its bulky frame. Just look at that thing run their faces flap so wildly they look like they could take off into the air weighing in at around 150 pounds on average. They're pretty hefty, but these guardians, well, they're also affectionate and loyal to their families. These Mastiffs can be a bit clumsy though, and will frequently knock things over by accident, even small children. So they may not be the ideal choice if you have younger ones running around. All blunders aside, they are loving and if well-trained, make great companions, if not the neatest of roommates. All that floppy face also comes with a whole lot of drools, so slobbering is a given. With these guys, before we go on like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell. Now it's time for the sweet topic. The Tibetan Mastiff is, without a doubt, one of the biggest dogs around. The things are truly massive and rather terrifying they can reach heights of 26 inches and a weight of well over 100 pounds. But not only are they big, they're also powerful because those huge bodies are almost entirely solid muscle. Simply put, you don't want to mess with one of these things as they're one of the biggest dog breeds in the world. Comment down below with the hashtag sweet topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed you on screen. And with that, let's keep things moving. Number 4. 
the Irish Wolfhound. The noble-looking Irish Wolfhound is amongst the tallest of all dog breeds on earth. Standing on their hind legs, they can reach up to seven feet tall. They've been mowing people with their extraordinary size and distinctive looks ever since Roman times faster and more lean than many of the other larger dog breeds. The Irish wolf found would be used to hunt wolves, as you'd expect from their name, along with boar, as well as deer, so they have great power and agility as well. Irish wolf founds are very gentle giants, though they do make wonderful pets and loyal companions. They're hardy and do well in colder climates because their shaggy, wiry gray coat keeps them warm and protected. These dogs weigh in at approximately 120 pounds on average with some being heavier and with an average height of at least 32 inches. You can see while they're amongst the world's biggest dogs. However, if you're looking for a guard dog, the Irish Wolfhounds, not really the dog for you. They're so friendly that they're really not going to bark at a stranger they're more likely to wag their tails instead. Number three, Dog de Bordeaux. The Dog de Bordeaux has the biggest head in all of the dog kingdom. These extraordinary animals are great powerhouses with some pretty distinctive looks to boot shortened to de Bordeaux by their fans and those in the dog world. The Dog de Bordeaux is believed to have been around since ancient times, popular as war dogs amongst the ancient Romans, and as hunting and guard dogs in France throughout their history until the French Revolution. Dog de Bordeaux were mainly kept as guard dogs by the mega wealthy French aristocracy. When that all ended in rolling heads and the echo of guillotine, the Dog de Bordeaux then found work in livestock farming. During the First World War, these brave dogs were trained rescue wounded stricken soldiers from the battlefield made most famous by the 1989 movie Turner and Hooch when a big slobbery dog de Bordeaux starred along Tom Hanks. These guys have become popular in the United States as well as in Europe. Their great working dogs are often trained as rescue animals, and one dog de Bordeaux named Boomer was even employed in the rescue efforts of 911. These amazing dogs move like lions, have an affectionate personality, and make loyal companions which is why this breed has some die-hard dedicated fans who spend their lives breeding and caring for these magnificent creatures. Number two, Newfoundland. The massive Newfoundland is known as a new or a newie among its many fans. These huge beer-like dogs were originally kept as working animals as their immense strength and colossal size made them really good at jobs like hauling wood and pulling up fishing nets. These were super helpful skills to have in the wild of Newfoundland which is obviously where the big fellas held from Newfoundlands. When they are fully grown, weigh in at about 130 to 150 pounds and use their great strength and size in service to humans. The pups are amazing swimmers. Newfoundland are known for their incredible rescue abilities and have saved many lives in the freezing Atlantic, often sent to save people following a shipwreck and pulling stricken sailors out of the water. Ever since anyone can remember, Newfoundlands are loyal and gentle and well-trained, known to be extraordinary guard dogs. Remember Nana and Peter Pan well that Darling family's big nanny dog was none other than in Newfoundland. And these sweet-tempered animals do seem to be very well-suited as family pets. Their biggest fans reckon that they actually make awesome babysitters, but that might be pushing the limits of the dog's abilities a little too far. Number one, the English Mastiff. The word Mastiff is used to describe a massive dog with a huge head that's used for haunting and there's no denying that this dog has indeed got a huge bond. The English Mastiff is believed to be one of the oldest of all domestic dog breeds out there with the modern day Mast descending from war dogs called Molasses, which were roaming around about 5,000 years ago. The dogs that descended from these fierce war dogs were often kept as guard dogs on account of their huge size and tendency to be a little bit frightening, and in the gross old times tradition. The old English Mastiff was also used as a fighting dog set against wild animals and used as bear bait mercifully. Those nastier hobbies are outlawed in 1835, and the breed would then be released from its violent reputation. Modern day English Mastiffs are still pretty big, but these guys have a lot less in common with their vicious ancestors. They're generally regarded as big softies, more likely to be a friendly family pet, or winning prizes at a dog show than they are leading troops into battle.
which is just as well really. Are you a fan of the biggest pooches or do you prefer a dolly sized little dotty? Have we missed any? Are there any other incredible big dog breeds that we should know about? Let us know all about it in the comments below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen and I'll see you next time.